Well, two men are running with a purpose, and their journey began today at the Pentagon. That's right, because they're running from Arlington all the way to Boston to the marathon finish line there. Suzanne Kennedy is here now to tell us why they're running and why their mission is such a tough one. Suzanne? Well, it will be difficult because between now and midday Saturday, get this, both of these men will run nine marathons apiece. But they say the sacrifice is worth it to help others. They will run for more than 100 hours for people they don't even know. This is going to hurt. It is going to hurt us. 17 back-to-back -back marathons to support the family of one victim of the Boston bombing and a bombing survivor. Our mission now is to hand deliver the checks to get the money to the, uh, the Richard family and to Jeff Bauman. Matt Nelson and Arlington resident Frank Fumick set out on the road today. While one runs, the other recovers. Fumick ran the first 26.2 miles, starting at 6 this morning at the Pentagon. If it was just a regular marathon, I'd have my feet kicked up for the rest of the day and probably a couple days. But, um, you know, I've just got to get ready to do it again in five hours. The course is 450 miles. During this section in Howard County, their state trooper escort spontaneously ran part of the way with them. Just to see them um, get away from their uh, from daily lives uh, to give back to someone who they do not know, uh, not to go to charity, but to do it themselves. It just really says a lot. The team has raised $60,000. Volunteers are their crew planning the route. It's a straight shot down one and running portions of it with them. As soon as I saw that photo uh, flash up of uh, little Martin Richards in his Bruins outfit, it, uh, and it was an easy, easy answer for me when Matt asked me to come along. This pair has completed dozens of marathons, but surprisingly, neither has done Boston. But they will run that historic route Saturday morning as they finish the last leg of their charitable journey. Now, the pair is planning to cross where the finish line normally is on Boylston Street around noon on Saturday. If you would like to donate to their effort, go to our website. And a reminder, that is WJLA.com. Leon. <laughs>